immediately letting you know what the weight that Charizard has brings about him mm. in terms of the negative side here. But let's go on to T versus Kamehameha. The run back from, from yesterday. The grand, yeah. grand Finals, I guess. Yeah. So this time they went winner side. Yeah, funny enough, uh, even though T uh, 3 0 Gluttony, he has actually not beaten Kamehameha's uh, Wario before. You know, sometimes, even when I play friendlies, and I'm able to beat another player with the same character, it's the fact that I have adapted to my f a friend versus the actual opponent. Because mm -hmm. that's what Kamehameha kind of probably knows about T's habits as of, you know, playing one to one every now and then, right? I don't know if they're from. I don't know if they're both from Osaka. I know T and um, Kome are from Osaka, but I don't know if Kome is. Mm, I think Kome is actually uh, from Kyushu. Okay. I asked him last night, bro. That's what he told me. Really? Yeah. If you t if you tell you something else, man, then oh. might as well call me a liar. I don't know. Yeah, I I'm not sure where uh, T is from, but I see him at a lot of Tokyo tournaments, so I just assume that he's he lives there. But I don't know. Who knows? It's possible. You know, he goes to college out there. I'm assuming. But hey, man. We won't assume any longer. What we'll see here is Pac-Man versus another Wario. This is crazy, like how uh, everyone knows Kamehameha for his uh, Mega Man, but like his Wario has gotten so many top-level wins to where I kind of put it on the same level, honestly. I remember his Smash 4 sheet even had some top-level wins too. Yeah, back I, in Smash 4. Kamehameha, uh, I don't know. He's like a he's like a character specialist to a lot of people, but he can use so many characters to a high level. Very, very versatile player. And right now, T is struggling. He's taking so much percent. Oh, Galaga time? Damn, that yep, is so much. That percent. was almost Galaga time. Oh, but goodbye. That move is actually really hard to punish. Pac Man's dash attack on Shield. Mm -hmm. Especially when it crosses <laughs> you up like that. And sometimes you see it happen to look so easy from Kamehameha, right? But in reality, it's not. No. Both these guys make these characters look. Like super, like I don't know. They're just they make their characters look so easy, but they're just that is masterful with the playing them. Really. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> See, they crossed it that time. Was able to punch it, but <laughs> 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 this is rough, dude. So this is what. Oh, oh what, are what you a, serious? Are you, what the me? heck? Excuse me. All right, T. You got it, man. I mean, as unfortunate as like as cool as that was, they didn't even get the kill, but. I feel like he deserved that. But uh something I was oh my god. Something I was gonna say is Pac-Man's like a, a setup character, right? Yeah. So he's like trying to take all this time to set up. Okay, oh he gets the kill there, but he's trying to take all this time to set up, but in the meantime, Kamehameha is just chilling, building the lap like second by second. Oh nice. Nice. Good double up. Yeah, and you're he crazy. He go I like how he goes for the double bell setup. I don't see him get that much, but it's really cool to see. Uh, where's he gonna go here? He waits to use the trampoline. Nice. Dang, that was and a really stalls. good stall. I saw him do that quite a bit against uh, Joker too, using like the hydrant off stage just to stall his recovery to like wait out Arsene. Oh wow, that was so good. Great wall jump. What, what fruit does he have right now? You um, know, I I thought it would show what fruit is too, like it, like villager, but you don't actually see that on Pac-Man. Every other character, though, got a buff on that sense, right? Like in Smash Ultimate. Like, you can see what they're holding or what oh. they have, especially in terms of Robin. But for Pac-Man, you actually don't get to see what fruit he has. Good stuff for T, actually, getting the stock lead now. He was behind quite a bit. See if he can do anything to build on it. Yeah, oh, we, nice. We even saw Kamehameha try to go for a whiff punish with the forward tilt, but he missed it. Nice. Good use of the empty hop here. You might usually get used to seeing Pac-Man go for back air, but I like the fact that we do but, see T mix it what? up. <laughs> what? That, that melon use was actually really smart. It made him so hard to edge guard. Oh, but there it yep. is. Uh, 40 is not too big for Pac-Man, but... Uh-oh. Okay, I thought that was going to be a ridiculous Wario combo. He hasn't used the WAFT yet, but he definitely still has it in the back. If T isn't careful, he can die really early. He's still going in, though, surprisingly enough. Oh. Yeah, it's really, uh, I don't know, it's really smart for Pac-Man players how they put the hydrogen in front so, like, they have enough time to charge the fruit. They're pretty much just forced to let him charge there. Oh. Right, not trying to get that combo he wants. But, well, what does he do with that bike? <laughs> 
looking to go in the mix up here. Oh, nice show poke. Oh, oh no way. No. <laughs> If he had just set that up oh a God. little closer to the ledge, that would have been the bigger play. Damn. But you know what? I feel like he did that so he can go for that grab, and then maybe Kamemi was going to try to go for a directional air dodge. I feel like that might have been his counter play, right? Jump from the ledge, that go for directional air dodge, and then hopefully T would stop that option and then get the grab. But... Hey, man, I'm just trying to make sense of it all because, honestly, that know, play. That, that, that was a very sus grab. And that's what I'm saying. That was that, a very. That grab is like. I'm trying to make sense of this play here, but I really did not understand what was going on. It's better It's better than last game, but it's still not one of those you just can throw it in neutral like that. Damn. Unfortunately that he had to die to, like, probably the best punish he could have done for that laggy grab. But let's see if he can turn things around this game. It still has a lot of time. It's a best of five after all. And uh, I'm pretty sure it went to game five at uh, Switch Fest 2. I, actually, game 10, because they played the game five in winners as well. So they both know each other pretty well. Even though Kameme is uh, obviously insanely good at this matchup. Oh my god. Being destroyed by Backer right now. Nice, nice. <laughs> but, oh, great counter play for Kameme. Yeah, uh, Wario being able to eat so many of Pac-Man's uh, projectiles is just so good for him. Nice, looking for the back air. Mm -hmm. I thought he was going to go for his Z-drop e there. Yeah, I don't know, Kamei is just really aware of uh, all, all the projectile sets that he goes for, but nice, calling out the jump. Yeah, Sets is the man retreating off to the sides. Coming oh, the no. Up. Oh, and you talked about that earlier, right? The mid-charge wall. Uh, no, that was cool. That was like, no, we haven't even two, two minutes on the timer yet. Yeah. That was like mid-charge wall. And you talk about how Kamehameha is not afraid to go ahead and use that. Yeah. Especially if it means a stop. I, and I feel like he'll have a lot of opportunities to do it in this match just because, uh, again, Pac-Man just like a zoning like setup character. So Wario has enough time to just charge the lap pretty passively. But right now, T is uh, getting a lot of these combos to work out in his favor. Calling out that jump as well. What's he going to do with this bell? No, he has the key. Hopefully, he can make use of it before he dies here. Cause maybe he can still kill really early. Oh, getting the late hit of the forward smash. Oh, nice. no. No, no he, jump. He set up those back airs and then maybe trying to force come in to go for an aerial. Okay. As my blade where he wants him. No, not able to punish the roll, but there's the grab finally working out. Mm -hmm. Just barely killed Wario. Oh, hit him before he could grab the Galaga. Oh my oh. goodness, there it is again. Yeah, Kamehameha just uses it so often. And I think that's a little scary too, because now you have, you have to worry about it like even earlier than you would in a lot of other, you know, People's Wario's, and you know? not only that, look at how high he was right earlier back there. He had a, such a height that it was enough to actually take the stock. This is quite oh a big goodness. combo from Kamehameha, and he kind of forces T to actually go for the Ejecto Cito right into Wario's loving oh arms. Oh my goodness, didn't care about that gal guy at all. <laughs> Great opportunity to toss Apple, knowing it's going to bounce back. Back out of shield there, oh, but nice. unfortunately only a forward smash from T. High recovery here. <laughs> oh my god, that's He's looking so for that crazy. setup again. It's those little nuances that you would see from Team Japan, right? They make those big brain plays that sometimes here you don't get to see as much. Oh. Nope, now able to use the bell. Maybe waiting that out really well. Oh. Oh man, this is so close. Are right, using the bike against him? Oh my goodness, he caught the apple. What's he gonna do with it? Oh, oh, almost got the back air. Coming on his last legs. Oh Misses my the grab, and unfortunately. Oh my god, he died to another whiffed grab. Down B. Oh my goodness. Maybe he's just laughing like, thanks, man. Thanks for giving me these free down Bs all day. Yo, thanks, Papa Sakurai. You never really did fix that <laughs> grab, man. <laughs> you, you might, you might want to fix the grab before you buff other characters, bro. Now. Kamehameha one game away, going to winner's finals. 
And it will be Gluttony versus Kamehame, right? If Kamehame is able to win this one. Wait, say that again. I, didn't, I, I heard you, but like, I heard Gluttony versus Kamehame. If Kamehame, Kamehame wins this, plays Gluttony, yeah. and wins finals. I always wanted to see them play. I, what I want to ask Gluttony is what's the thought process of him having full charge off as a threat versus Kamehame using those mid charge offs? That's, yeah. what I, that's what I want to hear. Like, what's the contrast between I, uh, that? Like, I, why, why? I know Glennie does it sometimes, but not nearly to, like, the extent that... And you know he does. does it sometimes because that's the least thing your opponent would expect. Because yeah. we know ourselves, right, hey, Kamehameha's not afraid to use, you know, the mid-charge off versus Glenny who loses only the full charge most of the time. If I were a top player, man, I would never expect the mid-charge off from Glenny. Oh, catch the jump. The fire. Oh, man. Where's he gonna go? He's still in a terrible position. Can't touch the ground. Okay, but here's the combo. Up throws. Nice, looking like Mario. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna catch his uh, landing there. Uh, we have the key. He hasn't really been successful with the key so far. <laughs> what are you doing? That walk was just so funny. Tech chase? Oh, no. Oh, wow. Yep, gets oh, grabbed. okay. You don't have a combo into that. Sorry, Pac-Man. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Caught him trying to go for center stage. Yeah. Okay, there's no player cam, but like after he died of that up air, he just looked at Kamehameha <laughs> for like five seconds. And he was laughing. Oh, like, will you please let me look? Like, are you serious, man? Nice. Yep. So good, catching the jump. I don't know why T keeps doing these little crawls in neutral, but it's hilarious. Oh no! I think that, oh oh no! Another one. I don't think that's. <laughs> I don't think that's hilarious. Man. <laughs> oh my god! Kamehameha is so good at hitting that. Free punish again. Whipping nice. these grabs and just getting destroyed for it so much. T is. I don't know. He needs. He's, he's, he's a lot. He's a lot to come back right now. He does. He definitely does. Nice. Wow, how is he hitting all these up airs, man? <laughs> He's like dash dancing like so far away, and Kamehameha's just like, cool, I'm just going to chill up here, man. I have the lead, right? No reason to make that big approach. Oh, nice. my goodness. thought he was going to die it down B again. Oh. Oh. Oh, almost, almost. What is he going to do with the stack, though? Oh. Oh, uh, okay, I, I, okay, okay, okay. He got the, got I, the thought force, it, I thought he was going to go off stage and go for back in there, but immediately, I guess he took the safer route. Can he bring this back, though? Hey, it's going to be a lot of homework to turn in, man, but if anything, if anybody can do it, maybe it might be T. We'll see if Kamimi has anything to say about it. Looking for the whip punish here, and he sees that T's on the platform. Trying to survive. Nice empty hop there, especially when he gets the full cross up. Kind of looking to react how T's going to play the rest of the, the bout. All right. T's is waiting out. What is going to do here? Oh. Nice. I like that he waited for to see how T's setup was going to be. And the Kamehameha responded. Oh. In kind, back air. So close. Galaga oh, he has a Galaga. He does. Nice. He actually uses it for a Z-drop. Nice. Staying alive here. Oh, but nice. punishes the dash attack. Oh, my gosh. T has to do so much work to come back right here. Oh, Kamehameha is just one big hit away. Oh, oh. my god. <laughs> and he laughs at him and he's like, ha, ha, you don't no. use full charge. You only use full charge off. No, he's, they're looking at uh, Gluttony to the left. <laughs> to 